<laughs> well, can I make you feel better? Because I know you're from New York. And I know this Giuliani thing has got you kind of bummed. Um, and look, I don't, you know me, I don't like New York City, uh, mostly because they make fake paste picante sauce. But I don't like New York City in general. Because New York City, no paste is not from. No, me. I said because they make fake paste picante. But there's there is no fake paste. That that entire f- based on a lie. There is no New York based salsa company. There is. Um, <laughs> Why would you not have to, a salsa factory in Mexico? To make you feel better. Um, one thing that I do like about, and I'm, I'm not saying this is a joke. I mean, legitimately, one thing I do like about uh, New York is New York around Christmas time is nice. I, I, Rockefeller Center and all that stuff is, is really nice. I think they did they decorate it great. It's it's really awesome. New York at Christmas time is great. I already know what you're getting. At. And, and I and I love it. And I love it. Mm-hmm. And one of the bi- the best things about New York City during the holidays is you would agree the tree, right? You would agree it's the tree. The, the tree is uh, the, the, the tree it's is beautiful. Is very nice. It's yeah. beautiful. Like here, I want to show you. Want to see the tree this year, guys? Well, before I even do that, because I have the tree here, uh, I'm going to show you the tree last year, okay? Because I think it's um. I went and saw it last year. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, exactly. And I'm going to show you the. I'm going to show you the tree last year. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you just how how beautiful the tree was. Um. In 2019, so this is this is the this is the tree in uh, 2019. Here it is. Yeah, it's really nice, right? It wasn't. Yeah, it was. Look at that. Look at that. You got to admit, man, that's great. Um, they've received the tree this year, and this is it. <laughs> um, so okay. <Caleb. laughs> By the way, that is not what that tree looked like when they cut it down. No, there was a picture of what it looked like when they went to go get it, and yeah. it was gorgeous, and they fucked it up transporting it. So, um, Merry Christmas. I mean, that's like a legit Charlie Brown Christmas tree. It is. It really is. Speaking of the Charlie Brown thing, this reminded me. So, Apple TV, uh, Apple bought the rights to all the peanut stuff, like, you know, the, the, the Christmas stuff and all that stuff. Uh, but luckily, this year, they were, they, 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 they're doing the right thing. They're going to, because every year, like, since I was a kid, PBS would show, you know, the Thanksgiving one and the Christmas one. Of course, it's tradition. Well, Apple was going to will be allowing allowing them this year to play the Charlie Brown stuff. Oh, wow, that's cool, it's man. Really nice I guess about. Apple's not an evil corporation after all. Cuz the good guys that care about Christmas. I think they are. Evil, I mean. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were saying, I was like, wait a minute. Why do you think they're really good to talk I think, about Christmas? I think they're evil, I mean. There were some people that were being really fucking gay about that. Like, it is a tradition. And, of course, I, you know, I, I love um, the, the Charlie Brown specials. Like, I always watch those, you know. Yeah, those, as a kid. But, like, or even, like, as an adult, it still goes on in the background now when you're doing shit. At least, like, one day during Christmas, you'll have it on while you're cooking or whatever the fuck, just because it's a comfort thing. But um, some people were being really gay about it because they were... Of course, people on the right were spreading it around and going, it's a war on Christmas. They don't want to play them on on the television anymore. And then when the story kind of got clarified, people were like, well, no, just Apple has the rights. So, like, who the fuck's watching TV anymore? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, these things are going to to shift as technology and as, as innovation emerges. Like, I'm sure there wasn't, like, a... Was there a Christmas radio special that they used to play back in the day? And then when TV came along, they were like, we're never going to have a radio Christmas special anymore. And you're like, no, it's just on a new thing. It's still here. In, in my, it's still Christmas. In, in, in my house, it was always Christmas, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, that was, that was the one then that we always, I mean, and so, so this year I still watch it around Christmas time. Yeah, that's a big one in a lot of households. I mean, I mean our, I fucking our family's love big one. on that one. Um, but I don't know, man. Home Alone? I, Home Alone. I'd rather Home, Home Alone's Alone. Pretty Christmas. I'd rather do a Home Alone. I'd rather do a Die Hard. If we're doing if we're doing Christmas movies. Apparently, they found an owl living in that tree. Oh, and this one. That's good. I guess. Look at the killing owls on top of everything else. Well, I mean, we, we, you know, gotta have a tree. Um, Fuck those owls. 